this is Kyle from the band Vitriol, and I'm here to show you some of my favorite EMG equipped guitars from my collection. So first things first, one of my absolute favorites, I believe my second favorite from my whole collection. This is a custom shop Jackson Warrior, uh, master built by Mike Shannon himself. And this guy I plugged in, just a classic 81, but in that brushed gold finish. Thought it would work really well with the whole vintage antique Indiana Jones vibe this guitar has, which I really like a lot. Speaking of classic vibes, another one of my favorites. This is the Black Beauty. Reminds me a lot of those, uh, you know, the traditional black and gold Gibson Les Pauls. They even did this with a slab body, flat top, so you put the full body binding in there, so I think they had that maybe in mind a little bit. These were 81Xs, uh, both bridge and neck. Uh, I outfitted this guitar when I was experimenting with using a bridge and a neck with the same level of output. I think it sounds great. Keeping on with the Warrior Worship. Another very special one. Uh, for those who are not Jackson nerds or Warrior nerds, this is the original design of the Warrior. Uh, they ran like this from, I believe, 90 to 92, before they went away and came back in 2002 in the standard version with the two humbucking pickups. This has three slanted single coils. Over here, you can see the pickups that originally came in this guitar, these kind of rail humbuckers. So these are actually three stacked humbuckers in a row. Pretty, pretty wild. Uh, I'm an EMG guy, obviously, so I had to swap them out, put two classic S's, ceramic S's in the bridge, and then threw an SLV in the neck, which I just preferred the tone and the feel for lead stuff, which is what I mainly use the neck pickup for. And it just gave me a little more diversity um, in tone throughout the whole guitar, which is never bad. This is my crowning jewel. This is my absolute favorite. This is my one of one Demoness Hadial Confessor. It's a mouthful. Um, this is uh, Demoness is a builder out in the UK. Small uh, company, very limited production uh, that I'm fortunate enough to have a working relationship with. Um, this guy, I put a headset in there. So mixing it up, uh, full full headset, so in the bridge and in the neck. Right. Back to the Jacksons. I think this is the, the, yeah, the last remaining import guitar I have in my collection. That's because it's just, so damn good, so good on you guys, Jackson. I mean, look at the top on this thing for an import model. Absolutely insane. This is the good cop to my Damoness's bad cop. Love the Prince vibes. Uh, headset, once again, this time in the high polished gold to just fit the whole look of the guitar. Lastly, certainly not leastly, we got a Bernie Rico Jr. pink sand. Pretty wild guitar here. Um, again, for those of you who don't know, uh, Bernie Rico Jr. Uh, was the son of the late Bernie Rico Sr. of DC Rich Guitars. And he uh, started his own company for a while. Sadly, not the most long-lived company, but he still made some incredible guitars. This big one. Uh, it's faulty maple top full mahogany body, and classic 8185. I think this is actually uh, the Kerry King signature set, of course without the boost. But there you have it. Those are my six favorite EMG equipped guitars. Thanks for hanging out with me this week.